I need to know everything Who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George I hop in the Porsche with five and a horse already We're all the way in We're wow. all in Yeah, I mean, this is, this is banter for the people It's a high council meeting High council I get scared of that word, by the way. You yeah, know, we you have some of your common cast of characters. We got Cam, we got Tachi in the place. Uh, newbie to the Purple Banter, we got uh, Bob Menery. I'm ready Love to, to see it. Then we got Summer Soderstrom. Strum. Soderstrom. Yes. Sorry about that. From Baltimore, Maryland, by the way. From Baltimore, no, Maryland. From Montgomery County, Maryland. So okay. I, I didn't mean to take over hosting. I got no, no, no. We're all hosts. We're all doing this. By the way, we have our guests here, guys. Yeah, I, don't know. I know. We're yeah. Summer, how are you doing? <laughs> Summer is, by the way, you're yeah. absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be like weird or anything. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, Summer, what are, you, what are you looking forward going into the summer? We know you're an actress. You're out here in L.A. Mm -hmm. from a small town. Mm -hmm. um, what's that experience been like, and what are you looking forward to going into the summer? Yeah. Uh, so, the experience, basically, I moved here right before COVID. Okay. So, yeah, that was all interesting, but... You have really beautiful eyes, by the way. Not to be whatever. Thanks. <laughs> what? Yo. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No, yeah. But, um, but yeah, basically just like enjoying the summer, traveling, and seeing where I can go with um, like work, with okay. acting and modeling. It's got to be weird coming in during COVID because you have no sense of what it used to be yeah. like, what, what reality going, is. Going to COVID? What do you mean? I mean, there she was She moved no, here right before COVID. Oh. Sorry. There was no traffic, so that's what I got used to. Yeah. There was oh. literally nobody on the road. That's hilarious. I know, right? And yeah. then as soon as everything started opening back up, I'm like, what is going on? No, it just got back to normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you never weird. know with, like, girls on Instagram. We were talking about this earlier, like, what their pictures look like, and then when they sure. show up, mm -hmm. like, what they look like. And I just want to say you've exceeded all expectations. <laughs> Thank you. Glad Back to, to you guys. That. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Does Bob look like like his pictures? Yeah. On yeah. Well, he, yeah. He was like sending. I sent videos. Oh, you did. Videos. Okay. Yeah. No, I do. I like. I, I, that's something I do. Is that weird to do? No, I like what? that. Is it weird that because I actually do that because I love to just send videos of me talking and that's how I instead of texting. Right. A lot of times I'll just like you know because I, I want to put a face to. Yeah. Because well, like you wear short, it quick and to the point. Because yeah. the only podcast you wore makeup on was the Burt one, right? <laughs> that I ever wore makeup on? Did yeah. you wear makeup? On the Burt? Just a time? little bit of blush. She was doing the makeup in the fucking back. I yeah, said, you know what, fuck it. They okay. dotted my face. A little bit of blush. It's cool. I, I, wore, I did wear makeup for the uh, Trump one. Oh, you did? That's fine. Yeah, you got to clean it up. Yeah, did you tell her about that? Uh, no, yeah, he, so he interviewed Trump. Him. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. He uh, kind of made this like little connection happen. <laughs> kind of a big deal. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah. Right in the middle of like the Ukraine-Russia right? debacle. It's fucking crazy. And no one else does that but Bob. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> I'm so young. wait, are you are you are you single or are you what, what's your what's your situation? Yeah, I'm single. Wow. Yeah. So wow. you're really good at giving relationship advice, but you're just not ready for a relationship. I don't is that know what if it I'm is? like really good at giving relationship advice. I just have a lot of people that come to me and I like give. Okay. What I think. Do you charge yeah. them for the service for the, no. the relationship <laughs> advice? No. Why are you good at relationship advice? Like, what, what, why, why is that the case? I I don't know if I'm good at it or not. It's just like. I think I'm falling in love. I don't know. Maybe because. Are you? Loki, sorry. With summer? It's not a dating podcast, no. so don't worry. This yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'm, like, good at it or not, but I just, like, do it. What's the most anyway. toxic situation a friend has come to you in terms of a relationship for huh. advice? I got a few of them. <laughs> well, we, I mean, you're not going to name names. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I just feel like um, situations where, like, so I had a friend who, like, her boyfriend kicked her out of, her house to throw a party so what? that he could like cheat on her and then she left and like did the every you know what you realize That's fucking kind of everybody cheats it's, yeah. it's a sad world not everybody well I let me tell you this you know, you know what my rule I don't is? Cheat. you know what my fucking cheat. rule is my rule is don't get me worked up about it my rule is this I'm loyal I told you this earlier yeah. I'm loyal as fuck but if you fuck with me once I'm gonna 10x it but then if you fuck with me once then we're just done if you, yeah, yeah if but you then she's like really attractive out. really hot and like you know what i mean so then, yeah, we live in I la there's a lot of hot girls yeah. bob yeah i know that and, and then you have no time limit cheat, but then so. i had to put the effort back in and everything like that. i had it you know yeah i let it linger too long it was fucking and you shit. put no time limit on your retaliation no i just you say like away. i can retaliate at any right. time no any time. no i retaliated for a short period of time and then we renegotiated the contract Oh. Is there contract? Really? Yeah. Where it was, it was a mess. I didn't listen. I didn't go first. That's all I said. Do you think retaliation is appropriate? Yes. 
Fuck yes. No. If it no, but if someone so. does you, you wrong, what do you if Jesus? Someone, if someone did you wrong, you retaliate. I mean, no. Yeah. I think that like karma's gonna get them. So there like, you go. Why would you waste your energy on like getting back at them? Yeah, yeah. yeah because uh, I, I feel. I, cause, go ahead. Go ahead. So go you're ahead. gonna exit the situation because what I you know I, I think just drop them. You just drop yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, sometimes somebody get to get. They gotta. They gotta understand. You know what I mean? From the person's point of view, they they, they get the fucking. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. sometimes someone's fucking. Someone's doing the fuck. Someone's get fucked. So what would you do? You know, sometimes you know, oh it, God. it depends. It depends if I'm, if I'm, Cam's if gonna get if I'm, put back if I'm on probation. Physically close to them, you know, I might have someone slap them. Um, what? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know, some type of like woman situation. Where, like, no, no, fight no, 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 no. You know what I mean? No. Uh, you know, there's there's, there's no violence. Or you talk shit up on them. You know what I mean? You shit shut their name. You know what I mean? All For this. What? Stuff. What, what, you, what are we even fucking talking about? We're talking about allegations. I'm talking about women. I'm talking about women that did you wrong. Yeah, this is what you're gonna do back to them. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, yeah, I just. Simply, I don't slap him. Someone you know, else slaps. Something hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying what actually happened. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If I mm-hmm. found Hypothetical. out, if I found out that somebody fucked, you know, my girlfriend fucked somebody. Yeah. I mean, I immediately just go to like Scottsdale and then just <laughs> go for the weekend and just go and specifically do my thing. Scottsdale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but actually, I'm actually because by the, by doing that, I kind of gave it another chance. Yeah. So I kind of like she fired first. I retaliated and then I came back and but said, why would you want to give her another chance? Because I believe, I believe, I believe in the better in people. I do. I believe that people make mistakes. You know, I do believe in people make mistakes. I don't hold people accountable. You know, when I, you retaliate, like you don't hold people accountable. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Listen, listen, listen. What I'm saying is this. I'm saying that it's like anything in life, like a drug addict, right? Okay. Sometimes eight, nine times till he gets fucking sober, right? Okay, a sure. A girl fucking sucks a couple, dick. A couple DUIs. You know, couple my d- thing is this. Just come up to me and tell me yourself. I don't want to hear from anybody so else. So wait, when you retaliate, then do you are you upfront about it? I'm you're sending like, fucking videos of my dick. No, you're not. I'm just kidding, joking. Wait, so Summer, <laughs> sorry, have, you ever been, have you ever been cheated on? I don't think I've ever been cheated on. Think. I don't think I have, but I don't know. No one would ever cheat on you. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, you you can't. Be that's surprised. not true. Like everyone gets cheated on. No, you can't. Like that. That. Hey, 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 Beyonce, Beyonce got cheated on. I would never cheat on yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. I would never cheat. What on if she cheated on you? If would she you cheated, retaliate? I would just allow it to happen. <laughs> she could just do whatever she I wants. I don't. I don't cheat. I would just like if I wasn't happy, I would just leave, and I would want my other person like to do the same thing, right? And have the same. Response. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, so you're 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 an actress? Mm-hmm. Wow. So how did you get into that? Um, it was just something that I loved, like, ever since I was a child. I would take my mom's, like, camcorder and make, like, movies with my neighborhood uh, friends and, like, my family. And then I would just, like, write stories. Wow. And then um, it just hit me, like, at some point that I could actually do that. Yeah. So when I moved here, I've just been um, investing, like, my time, money, and energy into all things acting that's amazing you moved here for acting then i moved here for the warmth and the weather okay. oh, which is so God. ironic right but now but you're from the south this place too. sucks like, get that's out of here the weather's Super been really cold. bad this well, terrible. maryland's is like it gets really cold it gets like uh new york weather oh does it really yeah i don't think i knew that yeah all I four seasons it was like Acting's and, great um, though. Acting's gloom, fun. The gloom and the cold is just not my thing. The yeah, but why? You gotta go four seasons, guys. Like, first of all, like, f- literally none of you have grown up, grown up here in California. I, I'm the only one that has. And I'm telling you something. Yeah, seasons California happen. fucking shit, blows. Shit bro. happens. It's great, by the way. It, but, you don't know anything about seasons, dude. Dude, I don't know. That, uh, listen, bro, here's no, the deal. You're right. I don't know anything go about ahead, seasons, but I know how California is. I know how California is and know how it is is the weather. I'm telling you right why now. The, you it's a good the mic season. Like you're fucking. I'm gonna uh, tell you. Over here. I'm gonna tell you. It's gonna get hot as fuck this summer, and you're gonna be happy, you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna wish to. There's nothing part. better. I come from the East Coast. I come from Boston. There's nothing better when there's a fucking nor'easter coming in. You know mm. that you don't have to do shit because you're gonna be snowed in, yeah. and you're fucking trapped in the house. I so don't love it's that. Fun. Yeah. I like to be able to go visit the cold mm. and the snow, mm-hmm. and then like yeah. leave. Yeah, visiting after, is like, fine. A week or two. So did you yeah. study theater at all or no? Not theater. I did ten years of theater. I was an acting coach. Oh, you now. did. Yeah, wow. you yeah. were. I was an acting. I was a fake acting coach to make money. I believe you're a fake acting so coach. I, I yeah. swear, no, so I swear to God, when I need to make money early on, I fucking. In L.A. or Boston? In, at the local library in my hometown. I was 22 years old, and I pretended I was an acting coach, went on Craigslist and charged $25 an hour. <laughs> I believe that. And I had like 16 students individually, and I would teach them acting. And I was but you not, grew up in theater? Like doing not really. I studied between like 22 and 28. I did all. I went to like film school and all that stuff. Wait, did any of your students actually do They anything? all won fucking Academy Awards. No, they didn't. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but they, no, actually a couple of them, had success. Really I guess you could. Teach. No, I, everybody came back. I'll tell you that much. Every fucking buddy came back. The Faye acting coach. Well, you are like one of the biggest voice actors in the country. That's true. And by the so way, that does make sense, bro. I'm I'm making I'm doing I'm doing a couple movies now. 
Yeah, Road you're a movie guy. That's right. Roadhouse. I got you. Roadhouse. Listen. Little name Come drop. Come on, like, flex for me. That's, uh, that's Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. We just did it in Dominican Republic. Do you have to do... So when you're doing uh, scenes in that, is it a little bit of improv too? Or how does that all play Wait, out? Wait, are you playing Bob Mennery I'm in playing, the movie? I'm playing Jack. Okay. So I, I'm kind of just Gyllenhaal. I'm following Gyllenhaal around for a while. What just does gonna, this end? Roadhouse. That's a new movie that Bob's in that's oh, coming out with Jake Gyllenhaal. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. That's we're awesome. Down um, the Dominican Republic for a month and a half. It was fun. Does it go... Do you know what platform it's on yet? They want to go theatrical release, but I think that Got yeah, that's probably what they're. So they're to. still they're still working on the. It's like a video. summer away. Okay. Oh that's really? That away. long? That Does long. the writer strike get in the way of where it's at in I think production? It's already now? completed. They don't do rewrites. They're anymore. not doing rewrites. Okay. Okay. I don't think yeah. so. But it was crazy. I mean, like, Jake's a fucking crazy ass actor, and I'm not. I, Is he method? I don't know. He was a little off on our first day. We were. That was the only scene that had to be reshot in the whole entire movie. Well, was my scene with Jake well, the it big was one? You were in it. What's that? <laughs> Did it feel like it was you? No, bro, it was Jake. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was, oh, Jake was not prepared. I didn't fuck up. We just Jake, 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 yo, Jake Gyllenhaal was yo, not prepared. You know, you know what the worst thing about it was? He was super nervous with a super famous acting coach. Jake Gyllenhaal was no, not prepared. No, the worst. We did forty-seven takes on day one. Forty-seven takes, uh, and, and I'll oh, tell you shit. what. I have to be in the in the scene. I don't give a fuck if I spoil the fucking movie, kid. But I, have, I pull a gun and fucking on his head at this thing, and he pick, breaks my fucking hand. You can't really do and that. And I have to be screaming at deal. Huh? Can't do. Guns the heads anymore? Can you after Baldwin? Yeah, they do all the safety checks and everything. Okay, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was crazy good experience. So, wait till summer. I I I, I kind of don't believe you when you say you get cheated on. You just let them go. Like you, there's no <laughs> she there's said no like she's never been cheated there, on. There, there's but you think oh that's true. You think you never yeah. Um, you, you know, know if you're getting cheated on. You know have, if you're have, getting cheated have on. You ever, have you ever have you ever have, have you ever got someone? On, you know what I'm saying? Lot. Have you ever got have you ever like not got got but have you ever like got someone to get got? You know what I mean? What? Have I ever like helped a friend figure out? Get God, guys. She's on. a nice, peaceful yeah. girl. Let's take the energy out. Let's peaceful. No, it's okay. It's okay. Peaceful, peaceful. peaceful. Um, but sometimes, pe- no, peaceful so girls will, will start some shit. They'll, they'll flip some, split some Wait, shit so out. Wait, so have I ever gotten a friend to? Yeah, like have you ever retaliated against someone? Like even a friend, you know, maybe you never get cheated on, but have you ever retaliated? Have you ever fought someone? Have you got someone got? Well, she doesn't want to I mean? disclose that information, does she? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm so confused. Don't worry. Basically, <laughs> what he's asking, I think, is he's asking. Have ever for you for a friend? Have you ever helped them understand if they were getting cheated on? No, I was. I'll say, have you ever got someone fucked up? You know what I mean? No. Why don't you go back? Why don't you go back to the roots? Why don't we go back to the roots and figure out back to the roots? Figure figure out how even before after all the cheating shit happens, how does like somebody go up to a girl like this? I mean, like, how do you even do that? I think I'd be intimidated. Yeah, yeah. How how do we even like approach a a girl like you? You know what I mean? Like, how 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 does that work? (laughs) Um. It's fucking impossible. No, I feel like if a, like a guy like comes up and he's just really confident, but not yes. not arrogant, not cocky, just mm. like calm and just like he knows that keyword, you know, calm. yeah, yeah, like calm, breathe. confident. He calm. just has this like air about him that like he, um, you know, is confident. Then which also goes into how they approach you with dating because I fucking hate when a guy I, I won't go out with you if someone's like do you want to hang out no bitch like I want you to make a plan I want you to be a man and be like oh, yeah. what are you doing Wednesday Ugh. we're going here yeah, no, I have I've had uh, guys it's like, like so that requires easy. so much yes. effort. you gotta it's, take the female it requires on listen I'm a fucking romantic fucking dude I really am I'm a romantic <laughs> dude I'm very romantic but you just like rolled your eyes at like making a plan. I had a guy ask me to hang out for a year, and then he finally asked me on a date, and I went out with him. See? Yeah. Persistence. Wow. Exactly. No, it's no, the difference it's between asking me to it's like planning. come over and That's hang a little out sketchy, and, like, though. Take a fucking year straight of ass. That's like stalkerish. No, it's not. I asked three times, a and I blocked him. Well, if you're like hang out, hang out, hang like, out, hang out. I knew him. We were like, you know. Cool. Oh, he was probably just like scared, be a little pussy. That's it. But he's he like nervous. Well, you can't say, "Can we hang out?" You I think he just say, thought he was like, "I would too like cool to take to, like, you ask out." Me on a date. Yeah, yeah. I thought exactly. he just thought he was like. He what would be like? What would be like a place that a guy took you out? That would be like a shitty, shitty place to go. That you'd be like, "Fuck, why am I here?" Like for me, it would be a fucking hike. I would be That's like, a terrible day. I would hate to go on a fucking hike. And I love hiking. It would just be so See, awkward. See, I wouldn't mind because like we're walking and talking, and then like, mm-hmm. are there cocktails know? involved? Like, no, it's not a date. I always think that if you have to do the hike date. You're that broke. there's a little bit of limit of how creative right. you really and he are might be a fucking they just have to be killer. okay yes. with my dogs because like, okay. I'm definitely bringing okay. yeah got it so if they said hey let's go take your dogs for a walk that's a smart move I think you're broke yeah that's kind of be yeah but you, I, 100%. you also don't want to show though that you're like don't you want to show a certain like 
You're not going to walk her dog. Maybe it would right be away. like a good, like, um, that's a good second, second date. Second or third date. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hike, hike, yeah. You're not going to meet her and just go fucking take the dog no. for a walk. First date would be like a nice, yeah. like, restaurant. That, make, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Just one girl, she, she didn't answer when I said I will take her for a hike. That makes sense now. <laughs> Have you uh, seen those uh, funny videos where they're like hiking in LA? Yes. And it's like, like the overheard yeah. LA thing? Yes, they're just yeah. so funny. It's all like the Trevor Wallace stuff. Yeah, and yeah. they're like just talking about like Ozempic and uh-huh. like Coachella. It's like what could possibly go wrong in like a first date on a hike? Oh, yeah. So yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told this girl I'll take her over a hike and she said it was raining. I swear, I swear to God, I checked oh. the weather. It wasn't <laughs> raining. Um, and uh, like she, she act like I wouldn't check. Like, like I look for myself. Or like look outside. Yeah, look what outside. Are we talking you know about what I mean? But like, I guess you know it was raining. You know what I mean? Where she was, I guess. You know what I mean? But whatever. You know what I mean? Do you do all the TikTok thing? Uh, I have like a love hate relationship with TikTok. They what, why like, is that? They always delete my accounts and then why? I just make a new one. She gets a little too risky, I think. I don't though. You do. I, I, saw, I, so I, I stalked a little bit. You get a little risky. I'm so careful. I'm so careful. On what TikTok. is risk? Like, what's the border line with TikTok? I, was I have wearing, no idea. Like, I was doing a trend video. I was wearing little shorts and a tank top, and it's it was that video where it's like whenever I do a TikTok, people say there's someone behind me, and then you like turn around. And you're like, there's nobody behind me. Okay. Literally 10 million views. Like, it went crazy. Wow. And then all of a sudden, the next day, my whole account was, like, gone. They just take your whole mm-hmm. account and away. I Wait, you're deleted? Even, they Co- completely... That's I couldn't even you don't, have a, you don't have one right now? I can get that back for you. I have a TikTok. It's at, like, 10K right now. I've been trying to, like, grow we it. We got to do... I want to... We, we got to do one together. Yeah. Yeah, I like, you know, it's, yeah it's, then it's, I mean, it'll so go way past 10K <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we got to do yeah, one. We got to do one. You, might you put yeah. so much time into it, and then it, they can just, like, take it. Wait, I want to yeah. see you do, like, a TikTok dance. Yeah. Bro, I'm all in. I, are you yeah. kidding me? I'm fucking in 100%. Yeah. I would love yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you, so how do you build up the, like, what's the line between doing, like, kind of some, like, modeling pictures on TikTok or Instagram, and then also trying to show, like, actress side of stuff? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you bleed that all in? Because yeah. Luan, like, mm-hmm. it's one probably fun and easy to get views yeah. by being a little bit scandalous, but at the same time, you got to be in a casting room at two, some point. They feel different, even though they can be within the same person. Yeah. So, like, recently, I have been working on changing my image a little bit for that reason. I signed with a modeling agency in New York to kind of do more um, like of a, a fashion look. Okay. So I've been kind of taking like certain things off my Instagram and replacing it with like that more high fashion quality. There's still a few photos. bangers on there though. <laughs> oh, I yeah. mean, I think they're all bangers. No, you got, you got, I like that. Yeah, they are definitely bangers. Go ahead. Sorry. But yeah, and then just like also it is so easy just to kind of be like hiding behind your social media with just like photos and stuff. So to really like be have a sense of vulnerability and show your personality and like show who you are. It's so easy to do with friends or like people I'm comfortable with, but it's okay. something I've been like really working on doing with social media and just like people in general. Okay. Cause I feel like I'm pretty introverted. So I'm like forcing myself to be podcasts are good. Yeah. There podcasts we go, podcasts. Are so if there was like a perfect role of a movie or TV show that we've all already seen, mm-hmm. what would have been that role that you would want to get casted in if they did it again? Literally. Any single one of Quentin Tarantino's movies. Okay. Especially the ones mm-hmm. where, like, the girl is just, like, slaughtering the guy. Kill Bill. Yeah. There's a great, there's a great scene from Pulp Fiction that, that, that's a very, like, a lot of... Or the, what, what is the other one? True Romance? Oh, is yeah. That? yeah. You have, like, a Margot Robbie vibe, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. I love her. Yeah. She's so incredibly talented. Yeah. 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 yeah I, you, now that she said that, I could see you're like Margot Robbie killer. You know well, what I mean? Like, and she was in that. Like, and you just fucking like stab, stab, stab. What's you know what the mean? Will I, Smith and, I, and I'll get turned on by that. I get that. You know what I mean? <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, I, I could see you in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. my dream. It. Yeah, yeah. That sounds great. So you want to go a little bit more kind of like action-ish drama mm-hmm. side of stuff? I know. I like, um, I've been told I should do more comedy, but I really love drama. Okay. And, like intense. Sure. We got to do like an acting mm-hmm. scene sometime. Like not like being weird. Bob's an acting coach. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Bob's an actually. It's been a little. Actually. It's been years. It's been years. What is it? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars an hour. My, my, pri- my price yeah. went up a little bit, but I'm gonna do pro bono for her. Yeah, <laughs> got that's, that's a killer price. That's a yeah. good yeah. price. LA. It is right. You actually, yeah, the, the coaches. Actually, you know what? When I did the fucking movie, I, I hired a private acting coach. I'm not gonna name his name because I don't want to be a dick. Was it Tim Bader? It was like five hundred dollars a fucking hour, bro. The guy was just. First of all, we had fucking lunch for an hour and a half. And you paid for that. Okay, paid I'm for, gonna ask you after this podcast who it is because I had an acting coach. Kind of like jip me also. I'll give you. I'll give you a clue. He had some. 
Hmm, I don't want to get canceled. Just say his name. He had some like, he had some, like you don't want to get some, like, canceled. Gay tendencies. Oh. Uh, okay. So, so, just, so, so ninety percent of acting coaches. No, we just went off for a really long lunch and like. Then the Where'd session, you go, Chicanis? We went to the. I was staying at the London Hotel, so yeah. I, I was there for like Chikonis. a week. I you, love Chicanis. <laughs> yeah. So then we did the. He wasn't really that helpful at all. So and then he wanted to come on fucking set with mine, me. I'm like, bro, like, you don't, I ain't bringing you on oh fucking yeah, they, set. Oh, yeah, they go on set with you. And yeah, you but fuck that. that. He ain't going to eat lunch the whole time? No. Wait, pro- most likely, but I don't know if he would have to I'm going to be an acting coach. Mine, okay. like, yeah. I paid him, like, a lot of money, and then he, it was for a full hour session. He worked with me for, like, 30 minutes and then walked me to the door and didn't, like, refund me the rest. He was like, oh, you're good. You'll be fine. Oh, he no. refunded you? Huh? He refunded you? No, he, no, wouldn't. he wouldn't. I fucked you. I'm like, just drop his name. Fuck him. No, no, no. no I'm not going to. But I just thought it was so annoying. How old are you, by the way? Sorry, my no, no. How old are you? I'm just really intrigued. Um, I don't dispute that. I'm, no, I'm kidding. I'm 25. Wow, cool. it's yeah. amazing. Very beautiful girl. Yeah. Sorry. Have you ever like traveled with a guy that you just met? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, um, <laughs> not recently, but it was more like before I moved to California. There was this guy that. He was actually the first time I ever came to California. Oh, no way. He was like, I met him through a DM. We're actually kind of like, we're still friends now, but. um, There you go. But he, uh, we would FaceTime and then he like brought me here and we dated for a little bit. Oh, that makes sense. It's like the interactions were happening. He's like, I'm flying you out. Yeah. Yeah. That that was like the first time we met in person was like when I came here. (laughs) Did he fucking kidnap you? Yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) The way she described that. <laughs> did you share in I'll that did I describe it? I know I probably didn't describe it that well, but you were like I FaceTime him, and the next thing you know, I'm in California with a bag on my head. We like well because he has <laughs> like a uh, high social media presence and like Ooh, he, what's he his does name? Shit. Oh whoa whoa Whatever, hey like, oh man uh, fucking is his name all right Bob everybody Mary? huh? No his name no. Nick did you say? Yeah. I, Nick so I didn't think he would like kidnap me. Is what I'm saying. Oh, that's actually yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's, a that's scary actually no, idea no. That's, that's true though. That's true though. Because sometimes like I'll go out with a girl, and she'll be like, I don't know, like I don't want to kill you. I'm like, you think I'd fucking kill you? Like, what about army? People Hamer? are gonna know about it. That happens all the time where you hear the guys with the biggest followers. But also, I was creep. like so much younger then, and like I wasn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. thinking. I was just kind of like doing whatever, going with the flow. Now I feel like I like. You learn a little bit. You're think like, hey, a lot let's... more. Before I don't know. I do I'd something. let someone. Yeah. To fly me out somewhere right now, and I'm in my 30s. Bro, that's the way to do it. it keeps yeah, it, you got to keep it like this is the this thing. I always kept it moving, so like we would always go, just move. Right. You know, every two three days, and then it got to a point where it's like we got to like settle. And then I'm a fucking idiot, get the place in Boston like a dumb fuck, and just <laughs> yeah, I threw a grenade in the place. I do think that early on, regardless, even if you're staying in the same city. For a while, your relationship kind of has to feel like you're going like on a journey together. Yeah. Even if it's a date, it has to feel kind of like tonight we went on a little bit of a journey. It can't just be like we just went to a restaurant and then we went home. You got to be like yeah. a little bit of ice cream, a little bit of restaurant, go to some random little like music spot. You you got to keep it. But moving. you got to be on the same vibe level. Like, right. Sure. Cause yeah. She, you know, if she's the opposite of you. It's kind of it'll fuck it up a little well, bit. Well, then you'll know. Right we away. were both go go, you know. Uh, we went to a different game a week every week in the NFL season. To a That's awesome. City. That's dope. Different mm-hmm. game. That's sick. Which was D- fun. Summer, describe your, your perfect oh, date. Oh, the name. That you've fuck. Done. Perfect date. Yeah. Like a perfect first date? Yeah, like the perfect date you've already been on. That she's already that been I've on? Already or like, been like, on. Like, like perfect date. Or not like that question. I think you describe what you would take her for there you go. as a date. Whoa. And then we'll all go around and say how we would take her out. Completely different <laughs> questions, but okay. Is that uh, uncomfortable? Sorry. Oh, yeah. And then you can I vote whose first. date is the best. Okay. I, I love like that. that. Well, that that's, that's, fuck. I just that's got nervous. Not the yeah. that I asked, but okay. You, fine. you set it up. <laughs> I, it's not. Okay. Whatever. Um, no, but whatever. Anyway. So, so say, for instance, I was dating you, right? Right. First of all, can you look at her? No, I'm You're just like, like, like fucking Ray Charles. First of all, cam's already canceled. All right. I'm canceled. Listen, listen, listen. Because like, listen. you're not winning this. <laughs> all right, the next. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Give I mean, us your date. Give us your date. I want to hear a listen, cam listen, date. Listen, 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 listen. Like, listen. I, I come up to you, right? Probably a Barney's Beaner or some shit, right? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Good. you already yeah. lost. Kid. I've never <laughs> stepped foot in Barney's Beaner. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and okay. next, <laughs> Barney's Beaner is actually a great place. I love the London, I've heard the of London. Beaner. I meet you at the London, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yo. Are you just still Bob's move? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, listen. Uh, you, you know, know my I mean? move like, is yeah. no longer the London. <laughs> I can't even get it. Whenever you say, if you're first stalling, line, just fucking is, say you it. know, you know, listen <laughs> is the worst first line you could possibly. Hey, you know, listen. I said, actually, I said, ayo, listen. Hey, yo. All right, what would you be? You, you lost. Unless you got it, we'll circle back. I already lost, but it's fine. Who cares? You know what I mean? But this is this is actually this is actually my life. I just shoot my shot, and who cares? You know what I mean? We'll find out later. You yeah. know what I mean? So what is your fucking shot? So I said, well, hey, yo, Margaret Robbie, Margaret Robbie. Uh, so w- like you know, what are you doing later? You, you asked me. What's 
Eh. No, you already fucking met her. This what is the, the hy- fuck, dude? I'm like, listen, listen, calm down. You already fucked up the hypothetical. The hypothetical is the date's already in place. You got to set it what up. What does the go. date look You're, like? You keep switching up the, the hypothetical. No, you've already met her. You, she's already agreed to go she's out going, with you. Oh, she's already agreed. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay, yeah, got, yeah. It. Okay, got yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking her. Let's say, you know, Bakari. I'm taking Oh, but I'm thinking downtown LA shit. I'm thinking, That's like. Fine. Downtown LA is probably not. No, no, no. Echo Park. Echo Park. All right, we, we're going we're gonna to just take a. We'll just come back. We'll just come back. When you say Echo Park. Yeah, Bakari, Bacar, 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 you know, Bakari. Oh, man, it depends the time. So. Never fucking mind, I mean, dude. No, let's all go. I want Katya next. Yeah, Katya, yeah, go Katya. Katya. I'm God taking sake. her Host your fucking show, please. You're God taking sake, her dude. It's the boys. Yeah. Nah, I don't, we, we, I got I gotta I game plan. I hate women. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I like you. <laughs> but you're taking, you're taking her on a date. Where are you okay. taking her? Why am I next? I didn't think what I was part fuck? of this. Are you making this like you a legend? No, because you're a woman. Yeah. You should know what the fuck's going on. No, because like, I think my typical date. Are we going on first date? Then I'm, it's just cocktails, and it's like a happy hour cocktail situation. I like that because then, like, if it's going bad, you can then you go to dinner. Out. Exactly. If it's good, you can, go to, you go to dinner. Yeah. Exactly. So you start out with cocktails. You're, you're like, all right, let's service. meet at like six thirty-seven. Let's grab a drink. So it's like, ah, oh, we haven't eaten. This is going well. Hey, in in the back of your mind, you have this place down the street. Hey, have you ever been to so and so? They have a great tapa. Let's go here. It's a lot of things. And going. then you continue. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Oh my God, we're in Los Angeles. Guess who's showing at the Troubadour? Do you want to go? Like this just continues the whole night. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. First That's of all, the car one. is a cocktail bar. Okay, so no, I was already not. on the right. Oh, I work yeah. there. What? You're I in fourth place there. right now, brother. <laughs> You know what? The girl beat you. I'm You're just gonna let you place. go. Let you go. I don't know. I mean, it depends. Like, what? What is the? What? What time of the year is it? Is it just. It's summer. it's summer right now. It's if it was, if it was right summer. now, we're going so into if it was summer. right now, hypothetically, I would just probably be like, I'd be like, so and no, I'd be like, so you I, set it up though. Yeah, yeah. So Bob's gonna take summer on the first date. <laughs> we're just not. And like, what well, would that experience be like? I think I would just be like, look, it. Here's the deal. Like, I mean, I'd be, like, you, I'd be like, listen, how spontaneous are you? Are you spontaneous or no? Sometimes. I'd be like, all right, fuck it. Let's go to the NBA finals. Like, let's just go get on a plane. Do you like basketball? Do, yeah. Okay. I'd be like, I'd be like, two separate beds. I'm a gentleman. I'll be. I'll get a hotel room, two separate beds. Two separate beds we'll or do rooms. Like, yeah, yeah, two. Se- no, you gotta get your own room. Nah, fuck that. You gotta go through the experience together, but you just don't fucking, you know. You right. know she's not sleeping Is in that the second the first, bed. The first date, I wouldn't share a room with you. There you go. You wouldn't share a room on the first date, no. so we would get. So there you go. I didn't know yeah. that information. So I'm somebody who likes. <laughs> I'm somebody who likes to fucking kind of just be around people. Like I'm just a social butterfly. Okay. So I would just be like that, and I'd be like, yeah, let's go to the game, and I'd be like, let's get on a plane. Four hours it takes off. Not a private plane, but just a fucking first class though, commercial. So if you're going to like Miami, we go there. It's a we five fuck, hour flight. Miami That's a escape. long. Yeah, first do you day. sit but next we, to each other on the plane? Absolutely. Okay. And we fucking have some cocktails, and we go, we're going to the NBA fucking finals. Like we're stoked, we're pumped up. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so, so now tuned up. The it's a one party bus. married and then that person. Two, then those two bedrooms after those cocktails on the plane. Turns into one bedroom. Fast. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's yeah, that, 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 it does combine forces. That is true. Yeah, it does combine forces. All right, now I want to hear the one married person's yeah. first date. So, first date, you have to go to a restaurant that has like a no. vibrant, fun experience. Yes. It has to be lively. It can't be a fucking club restaurant. You want it has pop to pop on for it too? Good food with good energy. Keep going. You have to have a walkable next bar or ice cream mm-hmm. that you already have arranged. Jesus. So you you have to go from restaurant to a walkable place that like takes to the next drink, okay. and then after that, I think it's smart to go to a spot where like for me it would be music and dancing. So you dancing. have. I would. I He's like, a dancer. So me and my wife met on a gay dance floor. Really. So for me, I had to be. I had to find someone. Were you already in the club alone before she? I was, was with there? my boys. Oh, okay. Yeah. At the gay club. At the gay club. Cool. Yep. Just a, yeah. Um, one of my, one of my bu- one of my best buddies. We went to this big lesbian birthday party and he ended up falling in love with one of these girls and he thought that she was really into him. And so these girls got in a fight. We had to go to another like bar. He's like, hey, I got to follow this girl. I think something's up. We're like, okay, cool. We'll follow you. We go to the spot. When we walk into the back, she immediately grabs this one girl. They started making out. We turned around. We're like, oh shit, we didn't realize we're at a gay bar. And then we ended up getting Modelo tequila and we just like hung out and started dancing five minutes later my future wife walks in the room 
Wow. And we danced for the rest of the night. Fuck. Oh, no. That's pretty lit. Yeah. You know, it was, okay, so it was the best, best experience first date? I want to know. I want to start over. I want to start over. No. I want to start. No, no. All because right, I know. Because first of all, I was already on the right path, but you guys fucked me up. Okay. Let's, no, 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 no. Because Bakari is a, is a cocktail, nice outdoor, indoor spot. It looks like a forest and you're having drinks a in a nice spot. That's what I'm actually saying. Right. And then you go to another drink spot. Right. And then you have. You, you just have took drinks. my date. And then, and then, and then <laughs> you go to a restaurant. Have some food. You just took my no, date. You're no, you're too drunk to and eat, then, dude. And then you go out dancing. You know what I mean? And then you fuck because you fucked at night. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it happens. Wait, so you combined all I have never not. Yes. Except for the NBA finals. You, you fucked at night. all of our dates. No, it's local. It's, it's local. It's local. It's, it's going within like within three blocks. Within down, like, I live in downtown LA. So three blocks within downtown LA fucking right there and you fuck that night. That's what happens. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? That never happens. No, it has happened. It has happened to me a couple of times. Okay? Because I already know the system. It's a system. You know what I mean? It's a program. It's a standard. You know what I mean? I, I, I would love to have you as a wingman. <laughs> Let's do it. I would love it. Because you I, fucked that night. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't finish what I was saying. I, I was feel like you're coming last in this date. Well, but you know what? It's not me. No, Whose I, date do you choose? You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, it's, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of white women. You know what I mean? And it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Not, no, not like you. Not like you. You're a little different. But, you know, you know. <laughs> More, more basic white women. You know I have what I mean? no idea and what's going on. I don't either. Sorry, you know, listen, we run our podcast a lot different than this, but uh, this is, this is, I guess, <laughs> yeah, this is a high council this meeting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This, I, this I, I, st- what did I say at the beginning? Cam is. You know what I say? Fuck it. You know what I say? I say we make a real fucking viral moment. Yeah. Okay. Let's sit back here. I think fuck, the NBA finals is tomorrow. I think we should. I mean, that, that would be crazy. The Miami Imagine game. that if I said fuck it, you can come too. So you have a friend. I think, oh, that would be I think, sweet. No, no, but I'm saying like you got. If that's the thing, I mean, the NBA finals is fucking amazing. Yeah, and then also too makes it like I always like to do like, like viral shit, right? So yeah. I like to build on shit. So we do a podcast, we draw some other shit, so it all makes sense. It all ties into one. Do you put her on the pine? What you like? Mean? Are you, you like courtside on the wood? Yeah. Can you put her on the wood for the finals? Mm, that's like I don't like day. to try and be a flexor. Oh, oh you that's just want to fly? Yes. Yeah. Do I have the capability to be able to go on the wood and have two tickets? Yeah, but I think it's like. I don't want to shoot my my. So shit you want to feel like an everyday man? No, we're like third row like, on the wood, but third row back. Like not, yeah, so you're still getting. I'm like not the, sitting there like fucking Twenty One Savage, like with the, the no. Well, you're still getting like the the server that comes to you, but you're not on the floor. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, that side. Like no, I'd probably go. I, I'd side. probably go one side. back from the server. The courtside club. You get yeah. to go to the courtside club, but you're not yeah, courtside. Yeah. No, but it's fun. I mean, I mean, yeah, think about exactly. it, bro. Do you know how fun that would be if we went to the fucking finals, the three of us, convince her. You're the, you're my guy. You're my you're my wingman. She here. didn't say that you won the first day. You have Who to won talk to her. Well, I'm already miles ahead of you. This is ha- I already okay, but not all look. of us have Bob Menery money, so we're having normal dates. Well, are yeah. you just jealous you're not coming to the NBA? Finals I am. Right now? <laughs> all right, I can fucking arrange it. Seven I'm jealous as fuck. You know, you think I wouldn't wouldn't say that if I could? You know what I mean? What the fuck are you talking about? You think I was like, bitch? I would, let's go to fucking Connecticut you need tomorrow. To stop drinking. I think that's what you need. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, but no, you know what's too? It's fun too. Golf. Golf's fun. I I, I can golf okay. twice a summer. Yeah. Golf's fun to like go on a first day too. You get to drive. That seems like a good first day. Regular Regular golf's actually never actually done. (gasps) Uh oh. I think driving range is actually a legit. The golf show. The good thing about golf, you don't play like you you don't sit there and play eighteen holes. You go out, you take the car out, you get a couple cocktails, you fuck around, you hit some balls. Cart around, get a little. Cart around, you stay out there for like an hour. Yeah, I get it. And you know you that's that's what it is. Top golf's fun. That's a good first day. Top golf's dope. Mm -hmm. Feels a little tacky, but when you get there, no, like. The idea of Top Golf sounds tacky, but when you get there, you realize it's so it's fun. Awesome. It's so yeah. fun. Mm. I love it. What's like your guys' favorite dates you've ever been on? Honestly, uh, mm, I mean, whoa. or like, has a girl ever taken you on a date, or have you been the one that's done like every single thing? Always, no. I've always done everything. No, yeah, I've always done everything. Done everything. You gotta Even control like the if activity. you were in a relationship, she like never did like a little surprise. For like a birthday or something. Nada. No. Not really? Even. You guys are dating <laughs> shitty ass women. Nada. Yeah. Nada. What well, the fuck? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Are you kidding? No, but I also like to. I don't. Wife? I don't trust her really that much to like handle. Uh, I'm very OCD when it comes to believe it or not. I really weird. I am. I'm fucking OCD when it comes to like being picked up at the airport on time and like fucking getting some place to place. Yeah. You know, so I'm very like OCD in that way. So I don't want somebody else to control the fucking narrative. I get okay. it. But if she wants to do it and surprise me with something, I'll go along with it, but I'll probably take over halfway through. Cause you know, 
<laughs> make it make it a little bit easier. Dude, I I plan dates. I would think that. Oh, sorry. Go no, I, I'm saying I, I you plan can dates. Cut him off anytime yeah. you fuck. No, out. you can cut me off. I'm saying yeah. I plan dates. I had sex with them, and they asked me for money, and I didn't give it to them, and they didn't talk. Were to these me hookers? Again. That's a hooker, dude. Yeah. What? I, I'm telling you, they they're like they're like <laughs> send me two hundred dollars, and I'm like I, I'm like no, and then they don't talk to me again. This is the women. Are I these, deal these with. like be honest, I'm just asking you real honest. Are these real stories? These are real fucking women. I can give you the Instagram. Like like the. Pay you that are fuck hookers? Them. No, no, they want me to pay them after the fact. That's, that's hookers. Like they're prostitute, no, but they're not hookers. They, they, they're, they're by like, the way, brother, I'm, like, sorry. I'm fine, I'm cool. But they're like, all of a sudden, they're like, where's my two hundred? <laughs> by the way, hooker. <laughs> two hundred dollars? Well, no, they just who the ask fuck me are you move? fucking? <laughs> a wall? It's a long story. It's a long story. You know what I mean? But like, uh, you know, have you ever got a hooker? No. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Every no, but they, like, they, you have to like call. Like, it's let's 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 like, segue. Wait, I don't want to talk call, about hookers. Right yeah, now. let's not go. Just, we're, I'm, we're, this what were you saying? What were you saying? Classic group. I don't even. She has no that. idea. <laughs> Fucking F five tornado just went off. That's right. F <laughs> five. So okay, let's let's re. Bro, I oh. really am thinking about like actually executing this fucking thing. Yeah, do it. Like I'm gonna build. Well, because once you have an idea, like you're on it. I'm. I will. Yeah. Do everything in my power to secure this. So, do you have the weekend free to be able to go to the Absolutely. finals? Absolutely. Of course. It's the weekend now, right? Yeah. 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 And by the way, so here's the deal. Her this is the itinerary. Let me explain this to you. You're coming. All right. So, here's the deal. The three of us go. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. What were we I, just talking about. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> shut up. Wait. Hey, hey, hey. Can it's I, meant to be. I yo, can I have him step in for one minute just because I need him to aid and then, I, do you mind? Yeah. yeah. I here. want him to come in for one second. <laughs> Is that okay? One second. One hundred percent. Let's do it. All right. Please. All right. So I'm going to give you the game plan. What is your name? Austin. Austin from Minnesota. Mike. Yes. Twins. Love it, Minnesota. Look in the at house. the Minnesota crew right here. So, so cute. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This is bounce back beer. Would you like one? Sure. Okay. It's a light lager. It's the yeah. beer that you drink during the day. It is. The daytime. Yep. Um, it's an ooh, look at that crack. Yo, Denver's close too. Five o'clock. Yes, I mean, right. Easy. Um, it's an elevated light craft beer experience from our favorite friend Timmy Bounceback. Yep. That's pretty good. We just launched it yeah. in the last two weeks. It's, not very it's available at Barney's Beanery. I'm just getting social media coverage. Right and Love it. Barney's Beanery, State Social House, mm -hmm. uh, Justin Casos, even though the GM wants to kill me, and Schmidty's. Beautiful. We'll see. We'd have to leave. We'd have to leave it probably. Uh, how, wait, we're Denver. Also, I have two dogs. So. They can come. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, we, we, get a, we get a dog soon. They're, they're big dogs. Oh. I'll oh, see. They're that's the worst. The dogs stuff. just come in. The, they get in the fucking way. Yeah. So, dogs are tough in LA, right? Because all the apartments I feel like are so small around here. Get yeah, it up to I live 80, in like a little townhouse, though. So it's, okay. I'll get you back. Nice. I'll Dope. take care of it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it'll be a fun experience. Uh, Dave, I think also advice. Like, Everybody, you can clearly, I'm sure everyone here can go out to a nice restaurant, take a girl out to a nice restaurant, whatever. And she's probably been to all of them already. If you know each other, like you said, you already know each other. You heard like she likes Quentin Tarantino, like movies. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like you have to do a first date if you actually want to like be with that person, not just like take them on a date. Also, if like and if you need to my make like an impression, I feel like gay like best friend is like opening the car door for me every single time I get in the car. That like, part that sets the standard. Oh, that part. Like, talk about so. be, you, the gentleman thing. That mm, part. Oh, yep. Like, you'll gentleman, never open a sure. fucking door for the rest of your fucking life, <laughs> ever. Ever. It's Do you walk the on the thing? on the roadside? Sidewalk rule. Yeah, the sidewalk rule. You guys on know the, that? Defend the road. Yeah. Of course. Course. And then if a car comes in swerving, you just take her and put it in front like, of it. That's it. <laughs> precious cargo. That's right. Your precious cargo. Yeah, dogs are hard to travel with though. You got to always pack them into. The, do they put the dogs in the in the cargo? I would area? never do that Ooh, ever. Do. What kind of dogs right? do you have? I have a German Shepherd. Dude, Denver oh, so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a big dog. I, I set yeah. shit up. Well, fun. they're like the same size. I okay. See your brain yeah. spinning when oh yeah, yeah. And I think too, the other thing is this with the dating thing too is I think that people put too much pressure on dating. I think the first time you hang out, you're just hanging out with friends. Oh no! Yeah, you have to set intentions. Nah, yeah. fuck no, you, you know that. But like, you just you drop it subtly. Like this. That's is a why you do thing. cocktails. That's why you like, have a cocktail, and you're like, we figure it out. If we like each other, we go to dinner. Nah, the if three of don't... us would go as friends to the game. That's it. Some people like they just become friends, and then over time they. Hey, there we go. That's never happened. That's the best way to do it. I have a friend who's like getting married, and that's how her relationship was. 
I because think that your partner is school. your best friend. Yeah. But after yeah. high school, I think there has to be a I certain level I put people in boxes yeah. and like you can't get out of the box. Like if you're in my friend's own box, you're in my friend's own box and we're like, we're not fucking. Yeah. Like you have to put people in boxes. I think once a girl is telling that you about horrible. their past <laughs> relationships and if you know like more than two of the guy's names, you no longer have a chance of being in any situation that's going to last longer than like six months. Because you're just like you know they're toxic. No, shit. just because I don't like, really have to get. Go ahead. Just because you're now finally putting yourself in a place where you are comforting them over an old relationship that mm. should have nothing to do with the future. And okay. I think it's okay to be aware of like yeah the person's been obviously in relationships. Yeah. But if you start knowing the person's names and all that stuff, you're done. You've seen the drama. You're done. It's over. Yeah. Um, you guys don't care about sitting on the floor, do you? You're not like spoiled, are you guys? Like you don't give a fuck about the floor, do you? I'm being honest. The floor is expensive. A suite? So I don't want to sit. Nah, suites are too. Because then you gotta no. No, it's okay. too far. No, we're gonna sit in a good fucking area if we do this. You want to be like, and it's like you in and out. Be the return court. flight's booked too. No, you guys are good. You Within be, twenty rows. You want to be center court, five rows up. That's the perfect seat in an NBA arena. I like I like baseline. No, three back. No baseline. Yeah, baseline. No center court. Then you got to talk to people though and everything because you got to be away from like you know fucking the drunk. Not if loud. you're like five rows up because you're still in like the little courtside club area i all i'm saying is this i think you look at it two ways i think that it's a great experience to be fun to do right spontaneous mm-hmm. as ever i also think it's a business play i think that like it's kind of like a little collab thing yeah. is that what they call it everybody calls it here yeah. I think it's like a big giant collab between the three of us you guys, guys. can do tiktok dances <laughs> outside the, the arena <laughs> we just i hear the little she's seeing through this collab <laughs> is the game in denver no, i mean i just Miami. think that like we would we could probably grow some shit yeah i mean you definitely yeah. would grow shit yeah I mean, how many, how many do you Bob have? Bob will t- sponsor this date. <laughs> Bro, I'm already down like 20 grand already off the bat now. For, I guess he's you got to sponsor the date. That's right. That's right. I think that is a good date though, because it also is like, I was going to say, I feel like if you show interest in something that they like or like showing off your own personality. That's so true. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a diehard like, sports fan. In order to be with me, you got to fucking be somewhat find a way. Have to another sip of your bounce back. Thanks. Is there ever a time Good. that like that. Are you, you can set the expectations too high off. too early though, where now like the initial hit was so hot that then you kind of like, nah. well, what do we do on our anniversary if like that no. is where the level? That's are? when you take it. Like down. I think you have to be careful of like That's where, it. how quick Here, it pop. all hits, or else it's like it's where's like, the what sizzle? Are they expect if you start off courtside on your first date. Nah, like, exactly. It's That's just a dangerous move. I don't think so. No, I'm not saying that sometimes I think you should do it because it's fun. But like, dude, it's going to be an amazing, like everybody. I think there's like always ways that you can keep doing like exciting things. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There's like, like we... so many things and so many places to go to. Yeah. So. You know what we're doing after the fucking NBA finals? What we're doing, the three of us? Doing? Fucking dinner. Let me think about it for a minute. <laughs> Denver. That, this train doesn't stop here. <laughs> that Wait, bus... isn't it in Denver, Miami? It's in Denver. It's right there. Oh, it's Denver easy. is a beautiful, it's beautiful, easy. beautiful Denver's city. Dope. Unbelievable city. It's a lot of fun. You ever been to Denver? fun they got a lot of weed smokers up there yeah do you smoke weed i do you ever get those panic attacks when you smoke no i feel like it's all mental and i just am like very chill when i'm doing it so i feel like like if you're have anxiety going into it i feel like you'll freak out but i've had like nine this year it's, it's the worst really? yeah i went into like nine one one and shit here you want to pop back in did you get it like oh bro I'm, I'm i'm the worst i like i go straight nine one one i'm like fuck it i think i'm dying and they like you know yeah, All right, Elsie, let's wrap this up. <laughs> All right. Um, so this was banter for the people. It was a high council meeting. Uh, Bob is maybe potentially off probation. We don't really know yet. Uh, Summer, if he pulls thank off you the NBA so finals. much for coming yeah. on. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I thought we were here to talk about talk some relationship. I didn't get my it. day no, off Cam, yet. No, Cam, we realized that when we started it, it, no, like, it was too I'll get possible. off. La- I'll get it off later. It's fine. No, you got it out. If that's enough. Not you, really. You went on a pretty large toxic. I rant. can I can go on for another forty five minutes. Yeah, Love that's you why all. we're God ending bless. it. This is banter for the people. <laughs> that's we exactly are out. Why we're ending it. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where? I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse, I'm ready for war.